Okay. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Today, uh, we're going to... I winged this recipe about a week ago or so. I uh, had some leftover stuff, so I threw it all together. Well, now I purposely bought stuff to make it again because we thought it was that good. So we're going to share it with you. It's uh, zoodles again. I know people probably probably getting sick of me making zoodles, but that stuff is good. It tastes good with almost everything I make, so I'm going to make it for a while, I guess. But I have zoodles with uh, cabbage, and uh, we're going to do like a quick stir fry with some bacon, and I got, I had three little potatoes about yay big, <laughs> and I chopped those up, and I'm going to just throw those in with some cannonelli beans, but it'll be good. Only take a couple of minutes, so hang on, and we're headed that way right now. Okay, so there you have my little wok that I got set up over there. We're going to cook on that. Black container there has uh, bacon grease. I'm going to use some of that because of the cabbage. I think that's going to have a nice flavor. I know it has a nice flavor because we did it. But anyway, salt and pepper, some chopped up cooked bacon, red onions I sliced and diced, a can of uh, Publix uh, cannonelli beans. I drained the liquid off. We're going to use about half the can there. Got some of your slap your mama. Spice to sprinkle on there. Not much because we don't want to overdo it. Got some garlic and onion powder back there. Some uh, Mount Olive diced up real small jalapenos. Got my cabbage is sliced very thinly. I threw that in there. There's my zucchini. I actually used three zucchinis today. Penny bought seven of them, I think. <laughs> so I had to use three of them. And there's my three little potatoes. And they're in water. But see, I, t I cut them up real tiny because I didn't want them to take too long to cook. But there were three, there was just three little, they were like this big, little ball, little golf balls. I don't know what to do with them, so I cut them up. I said, we'll use them because I didn't, didn't know, you know. Okay, so that's it for that. Now, let's get started. Okay, I threw a couple of uh, tablespoons of bacon grease in there. Might seem like a lot, but it's not really. It wasn't even full tablespoons. It's just a spoon, took just so it greased the pan, but... I want the flavor of the bacon, see? So, let that heat up a little bit more. We'll be back. Okay, I'm going to get ready to throw my onions in. As you see, I threw one or two of them in there just to see if they were hot enough to cook them. And we got the sizzle. And I love the smell of this stuff. Huh. I think I, that's why I like the cooking. I like the smell. <laughs> so, whatever you guys don't like the smell... If you had smell of vision, you'd really like it. But, since we don't, I wonder if I should throw some garlic in here. I don't know. But, but you know, the I made this the other day, and the only thing I didn't have in it was the potatoes. But that, I'll work around that today. But it, it tasted really good. The bacon, the bacon flavor really came through. Because, uh, you know, part of what I had, I had left over everything. I had a little piece of this, a little piece of that. So I took the cabbage, sliced it real thin. I had a piece of celery from the last time, and I sliced that real thin. The zucchinis, I didn't know how many days we had them, so I wanted to get rid of them. I used two of them. Uh, you know, just things like that. You know, you look in the refrigerator, and you're like, oh, you know, I ain't got nothing to eat, but I got enough to make a whole bunch of food. <laughs> Like, I don't know if you guys watch my big, I mean, my Egg McMuffin. Ooh, that thing was good. Oh, I very, I seriously enjoyed that. Let me, let me throw a little garlic in here. I, I feel bad about that. You know, I, I like the garlic. I got some garlic powder I'm going to put in, but I didn't put garlic powder in this the last, I mean, garlic, diced minced garlic last time either, so. And I don't want to go crazy with this here recipe. I'm only using a teaspoon, see? Teaspoon. Cool. Now, I usually use a tablespoon, see? But I'm planning on that. Uh... Okay. So while I'm over here by the sink, I'm going to get my spuds ready. Because they're going to go in, right? I want to get those softened up a little bit before everything else catches up. Okay, see, just a few 
few little potatoes I got here. Throw those in. I don't usually, like I said, I don't didn't usually have this, but hey, if it tastes good, I might add it to the recipe for for real. <laughs> See, you, you know, if, if people are used to cooking their own way, everybody is. You know, you you everything that's in your refrigerator, you evidently like or you wouldn't have it in there, right? So when you have stuff, you know, you can throw it together. <laughs> may not look the greatest, but hell, it might taste good. You know, a lot of people will eat stuff. They'll go to the store, get frozen TV dinners, and you don't know what the hell's in that. But, you know, you do it's quick and easy. But these, really, this is all quick and easy, too. It's not like it's a... Uh, not hard, that's that's for sure. <clears throat> sometimes I wonder, because I do put, you know, even if it takes me 15 minutes to cook sometimes, and then we sit down to eat, me and Penny are done in five minutes. You know, like, is it worth it? I don't know. I know you're hungry, but... Okay, so... I'm going to soften these potatoes up a little bit. See, because I, I don't want to overcook any of the... the... Uh, cabbage I like that to have a little crunch to it a little bit not much but I don't want to get it real soft and mushy uh, I think Penny likes it soft and mushy like that but you know we'll have to work around that I guess but uh, I like this All right, so we'll be back in a minute or so and I'll cook this a little longer okay so we're gonna put some uh, while this is still cooking down a little bit, I'm going to add in some of my jalapenos. i got to buy some more of these. I'm getting down to the bottom of the barrel here. It's about a half a tablespoon and a little bit more, huh? It gives it a nice little flavor. It's not like you're going to get it in every bite, so. And uh, when you put the rest of the food in there, <laughs> it's going to be so sparse, you're not even going to see it probably. But I like the flavor of it. Uh, you don't have to put those in if you don't want to. Just like all the rest of my stuff, you you don't want to put it in, don't put it in. It's your, once you once you cook it, it's your recipe. So, but this here, I did this. Uh, like I said, was uh, that stuff in the refrigerator ganging up on at least you know. So I just threw it in, threw it together, and that was that. Luckily, I tasted real good because. You know, I always eat what I cook. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know. This. I mean, I could say I practiced this meal, but not really. I mean, I'm making it again, but I didn't make a video of it. Everything I do, I, mean, I just do it the one time, and uh, how it turns out is how it turns out. I eat it one way or the other. <laughs> <coughs> so, that being said, everybody has their own way of doing things, and this is all just a suggestion. It's a, a subliminal message. No, I'm like <laughs> um, But anyway, so we're going to dump the uh, the cabbage in now. You're going to see that's going to, we'll cook that a little bit. And then we'll dry up on the zucchini. The zoodles, as it were. Okay. Throw in my cabbage. Now, like I said, I don't want to. I don't want this real mushy. See, that's the main thing with the bacon grease is was because of the cabbage. If you ever had a fried cabbage or whatever, everybody always seems to put bacon with it. You know why? It tastes good. <laughs> so, I'm gonna turn this up just a smidge. I had it on medium, so. I like this little burner, it's convenient, and you know, I don't have to walk back and forth from one side of the kitchen to the other, so, not like it's a far distance, what, maybe five feet, <laughs> but no, it comes in handy, I like using it, like the other day when I did my cowboy candy, we did it at the table, had two burners side by side, one with a canning pot on it, and the other one making a syrup, it turned out really well. Okay, we'll let this cook a little bit, and we'll be back. Okay, as you see, it's cooking down a little bit. So, I'm going <coughs> to sprinkle a little bit of um, 
garlic powder in here. That was maybe a half a teaspoon. We're going to do some onion powder. And that was probably a half a teaspoon. And because I like you guys so much, we're going to give us a little hit of slap your mama. I like this stuff. Nice seasoning. Cajun season. Gives you a little kick. I don't use a lot. It doesn't taste bad. It's not like it's going to flame throw you or nothing, but it's got a nice flavor. I like it. And I'm going to take uh, my can of cannonelli beans. And we're going to do about half. See, this Publix, I don't know. When it comes to try to drain the can, it's not not as easy as the other ones. That's half the can, believe it or not. I did pretty good again. <laughs> okay. Now we'll mix all this together. We're going to throw some bacon in here in a minute. See, you throw this stuff in in stages, and each one you try to heat it up, everything gets heated. Then you throw something else in, heat that up, everything's nice and heated. Like, you, like I said, I don't want to make the cabbage too, I mean, too real, real soft. I mean, well, it sounded funny, too real, real soft, but you know, you know what I mean. Something about that, anyhow. Okay, so now I'm going to. This is how much water I've got so far off the zucchini. And we're not done yet. What I'm going to do now is uh, take some bacon. You know what? Let me. Some of these pieces are a little bit. Okay, so you can see, see, I like having bacon around, but anyway, I just chopped it up a little smaller chunks than what it was. And uh, now we're going to add the zucchini. I'm going to wring it out first. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow, the flavor, the aroma. Oh my gosh. You're going to think you died in winter. Slap your mama heaven. <coughs> wow. That was a piece of uh, cabbage that went too far, I think. Mm -hmm. But very, very good. Okay. So now, let me get my towel that I'm using. I've been using my towel like... A regular dish towel here. See? Toro, toro. Yo, toro, toro. All right. What we're going to do with that is we're going to take our zucchini and dump it from the strainer. Okay. Oh, that's a nice pile of zucchini, huh? The zoodles. Oodles of zoodles. And then we're going to bring them all together. Let me see if I can angle you guys a little further back in the range there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's okay. I'm going to try to bring some of this out into the bowl. But you just keep squeezing and squeezing. You hear that? I'm trying to get as much of the moisture out as I can of the zoodles. Well, these things have a, a damn lot of water tell you. I'm trying to get it, you know, I don't want to keep putting that in there because it'll take the zoodles forever to cook and then it makes everything too wet. Now, I don't know if you remember, see how much I've got now? The water here, see? That's the, uh, the 
plus what we already had. Probably a half a bowl of water in there. Okay, now, real simple like, we're just going to drop this like a strafing one. Oh, wait, Penny's going to get mad at me. I got this towel all green again. Huh. Oh, well, hopefully it'll come out. It should come out. If it don't, well, she'll just get mad. All right, that part's done. We're actually done. We're just gonna get all, make sure all this gets heated up all the way through, and that's that, huh? Turn my heat down a little, because once this is heated all the way through, we're taking it off, off the burner. Over hill, over dale, we have hit the bottom trail. As those empty dishes go rolling along. <laughs> That's enough of that, Daniel. Yes, sir. So, I'm hoping you guys like this. It looks good. It smells good. Let me lower you back down. I forgot you're way out at the North 40 there. So, we're basically done with this dish. I mean, just heating everything through. And, uh, man, this looks, this is over the top delicious looking. I mean, holy moly. The smell, the aroma of the bacon. You can smell a little bit of the slap your mama. A little bit of jalapeno, huh? That's about all I can smell. Let's give me a little taste. What do you think, huh? more minutes now. Mm -hmm. But anyway, my friends, there you have it. A nice dish to call your own. And I'll tell you, <laughs> bacon might be in there, but that's it. I mean, the rest of this is all vegged up. It should be a healthy meal for anybody. We had, we're going to have a nice, I mean, I'll eat on this for a day or so, or two days. I mean, I know we're going to eat in two days. Uh, anyhow, so there you have it, my friends. Okay, so, hold on, so that's the view from the top, and we're liking it, huh? I'm liking it, but anyway, that's the, uh, the dish. Okay, thank you, Miss Camera Girl, for that nice video we're doing. Uh, look at Elmo, he's, he's, he, she's knee deep in this stuff, huh? Okay, now this is uh, zoodles with uh, cabbage and bacon and a little slap your mama. <laughs> and these zoodles are kind of big. They're long. Anyway, that's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, perfect. They got that crunch. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love the cannonelli beans. That's anywhere I can squeeze them into a recipe, I squeeze them in there. They add a nice flavor, but they're good. They have protein in them. Mm. Now you guys should try this dish, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
No. Hmm. I was never a real fan of the zucchini thing, but I think that's because a lot of times people overcooked it. Oh. Especially in the zoodle format, that the zucchini for some reason makes a dish come alive. It truly does. It's uh, it tastes good with everything I make with it. It's great. So let's get back to business. I'll be glad when I don't have to say this anymore. But when you're out and about, cover up, protect yourself and others. Wash the heck out of your hands, and if you don't have any of that little uh, sanitizer stuff in your car, you should put that in there. <clears throat> so when you're out and about, and you, uh, you know, you go somewhere, you touch this, you, at least when you get in the car, first thing, open the door, wash your hands, even before you start the car. That's what Penny and I do. Uh, don't talk with your mouth full. And, uh, you know, the thing is, you got to kind to others about with the mask thing. I know a lot of people don't want to wear it, but if we all wore it and don't listen to certain people, <laughs> we'd be a lot better off. But anyway, off the soapbox. Uh, give us a like. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Also hit the notification bell if you haven't done so yet. All you need to do is hit those two one time. That's it. And I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I know. I like the likes too. The likes also help. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, I want you guys to come back when you're hungry. Stay hungry, my friends. And when you are, come back and we'll give you another recipe. This is Mr. Dan going to have a nice dinner. Penny's going to love it. We're out.